Hey, Shalom, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Raka HaKwadash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me this truth. A sincere Shalom, Lobakarium, Shah, Yasha Allah. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. That great kept amongst the clusters. The rest of the nation of Israel can go to the grave, and that's what they about to face. This hellfire, man, the two-thirds. They in the way at this time. Um, just real quick. <clears throat> you know, this is the into thin there. You know, YouTube handle that I follow. And um he's uh looking into the data on that uh helicopter crash with the uh president of Iran. You know, that's that's an ongoing investigation. I reported on it yesterday, but you know, we we, we still got our eyes on this because this means a lot to what's about to happen, especially if there's foul play. You know, um you got certain officials that came out from Iran today and said, Man, we find out that the small hats got anything to do with this. They said the retaliation gonna be beyond imagination. So the Lord is definitely gonna start this war down there with them small hats, man. The lease of the flock shall draw them out. And we hoping that they had something to do with this. You know, the Lord is getting this thing started. But just in case you're wondering, you know, you got new listeners, listeners everywhere. They're coming over here to the Men of the Lord, coming over to our channel. They, they're in the Apostles' channel. They're in the Elders. They're in the Bishop's channel, you know, of GMS. And, you know, we are we are affiliates, you know, Saints of Jersey. We're affiliates. You know, we follow the same doctrine. We see the same thing that our leaders see. But, you know, some people may be wondering, like, wow, you know, y'all are obsessed with the, uh, the day of doom And you're right Because the day of doom Is the day of immortality You know So the men of the Lord Let me just get this real quick You know Because the spirit just showed me You know That um, You know There's a lot of questions With newcomers You're coming in You know You list Oh look at this right here This You can't make this Look look It's, it's 144 right now But the new listeners They're coming over And you may be wondering you know, why they harp on the war so much? You know, why do they go in to the destruction? It's like, do they got a plan to escape? Yes. And we're going to show you that, you know, and that's through our father. But I'm going to read this here. This is, um, this is uh, Jeremiah 28, verse 8. I'm just reading. It says, um, the prophets... That has been before me. These these are our elders. You know, you you supposed to prepare yourself for the search of your forefathers when you come into this knowledge. The Holy Spirit give us the ancient spirit of the elder prophets, the elder seers, the elder watchers. That same spirit is in the earth right now. So the way Noah did it. We got that same spirit and we're doing it the same way. So it's like we're drawn to the end time prophecies because what they call es eschatology, the end time prophecy, once again, the day of doom is the day of immortality. That's the day of freedom for us. So we don't see it like your average reporters, as you're going to see on this video here, you know, your average presses, uh, preppers. We don't see it that way. Yes, the destruction is coming. But it got to come for the release of the gods. For the release of the one third of the nation of Israel, the election. You know, and the Lord has put a, a, a sure spirit that we've been called. We don't know if we're chosen, but we're going to make our calling and election sure. We're going to do this work. And part of that is the destruction of great Babylon. We got to report on this, man. You know, as well as you go with the other scriptures, breaking down that with Israelites and, you know, that stuff. Look, all that is part of, you know, I would say Israelite 101. Finding out who you are, who the devil is, you know, your fringes, your ribbon of blue. Find out the high holy days. 
But to get to the nitty gritty is to get to these prophecies, man. It says the prophets that have been before me and before you of old prophesied both against many countries. This was the duty. Many countries, man. Many uh, empires. Let's go into Daniel's the second chapter. Daniel's the seventh chapter. You know, Isaiah, Jeremiah, so on and so forth. Uh, Jonah. He was sent to go against uh, Nineveh. That's the job, and it's not. It's not something that you pretend. You can't pretend this thing because we're drawn to this. It's like it finds us. This information finds us. So you know we have a job to do, and our job is to report. So we got to come out and report the destruction because there's nothing more important on planet Earth at this time. But the second coming of our Lord, Yahweh, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah, it's, it's, it's his son, Yahweh Shah. He's on his way. And the 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 the, the um the tokens that he left us to know when he's coming are these end time prophecies. So it says, the prophets that have been before me and before you of old prophesied both against countries and against great kingdoms. Of war and of evil and of pestilence, the prophets which prophesied peace. You know, you might be tripping up on these channels right now. You saying, "Man, they always going into these end time prophecies." When they going tell me something to make me feel good, those those itching ears that the world has gave you, you got enough of that in Great Babylon. Now you gotta take that um. That red pill. Now it's time for that red pill. And this rabbit hole goes deep. The peace is going to come when our Lord get here. Our Lord, Yahweh Shah. But until then, you're in a very turbulent time. That's why you keep tripping upon these videos. And, it, and it's, it's shaking up your world. Because there's no peace at this time in this world. We are in a time of war. Uh, Ecclesiastes uh, tells you that was Ecclesiastes three. You know, it's a time and place for everything. What time are you in? We're in the time of the second coming. So it says, the prophets which prophesied peace. When the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord has truly sent him. So we are not in the time of peace. We're in a time of serious war. In your Ass better start preparing, man. <laughs> because it looks like that accident, what they call the helicopter hard landing, it might not been a, an accident. This might have been a whole setup, and I'm going to show you why. You know, this guy brought out a, a, a great point. All right, everybody, welcome back. May 19th, 2024, and I wanted to check out the weather that was taking place while they said the helicopter, the president of Iran was in a helicopter crash, and they said it was due to some weird fog. Now, I'm going to show you something very Now, I know your maps now. You know, you see the area, out. Apostle, uh, you know, High Priest, uh, Apostle Tahar has been going over this. We all know, you know, this is the Red Sea. You know, when we came out of Egypt, we crossed up, up over here. Right, through the little the, the the canal, right into the wilderness of Zen. You know, you got Ethiopia down here. This is Egypt over here. This is the Red Sea. You know, this is the West Bank. You know, today what they would call the land of Israel that they carved out today. You know, this would be Saudi Arabia down here. You know, of course you got Edom over there in Jordan. You know, the land of Moab, Moab is, and Ammon is on a corner piece. You know, then you got the Euphrates. And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is Euphrates over here. You got the Nile, you know, but we were supposed to have this whole space. When you go into Genesis, all this area is coming back to the gods. It's coming back to the land of Israel. So, you know, yes, we do got to know our maps because when they show these maps, it's good to know the area. This was the land of Ham, you know. When Ham started to populate, and Ham is one of the sons of Noah, you know, they migrated over here, which means hot. Come, 
okay? You know, Shem, you know, went all, all in this area. You understand? The Shemites, that was the other son. We're Shemitic, you understand? And then Japheth's children went all up, all up over here, which today would be, you know, Turkey, you know, Greece, Rome, Russia, you know, they went all up over there. You know, and the ark landed on Mount Ararat was somewhere was somewhere over here. You know, so know your maps. Weather that was taking place while they said the helicopter, the president of Iran was in a helicopter crash, and they said it was due to some weird fog. Now I'm gonna show you something very weird when it comes to the weather in this area called Jolfa. This is where the helicopter crashed. They said it was right here on the border, right near this city, Jolfa, and here's the border right here. So it was in this area somewhere. So what I did was I lined this up with a weather chart. It's not exactly easy to get weather reports for this part of the world, but I did find some, and that is here on the CIRA weather website. A very detailed chart you can use, and here we are. This is the Middle East. We're looking at Jalfa right in this area here. Can't get much closer without it being very pixelated, but I want to show you something interesting. You can see the date up here. We're on May 18th. Now, this happened the morning or early in the day on the 19th, and now it's obviously a whole different time. So as I move this, you're going to notice something weird. We get into nightfall. This is the beginning of the night of the 18th for this part of the world, and as we move forward, you're going to notice something. We're going to get to the end of this bar here where we should be moving into the 19th, which is where we would see the weather and what's going on in this area when the helicopter crashed but look what happens here they have removed the entire 19th from the weather chart you're going to see i'm just about the end of the data here watch it goes from the 18th right to the 20th there it goes boom it just pops from the 18th to the 19th something going on the weather chart you're going to see i'm just about the end of the data here watch it goes from the 18th right to the 20th there it goes boom, boom. it just pops from the 18th to the 20th removing the entire 19th so even moved so the whole can... 19th so this is a major weather uh, chart that he's looking at so he was supposed to go from the uh, 18th, which was Saturday, the 19th, which was yesterday, Sunday, and the 20th, which is today, which is Monday. But it jumps from the 18th right to the 20th, from Saturday to Monday. So they removed the whole 19th. Ah, it's locking. Because they let you know that um, supposedly a cloud moved in, you know? But they're not showing them, you know, why are they manipulating this? not see what was going on here no matter what setting i pick here and i'll just show you on this chart here this overlay here is meant to be able to see fog and we'd be looking right in this area here and again you move from the 18th across the day these take a little bit longer to load but once you get all the way to here it goes from the 18th to the 20th right there again one click covers an entire day so they have removed 24 hours of weather from one of the biggest weather charts that exists is one of the most detailed charts we can use to find weather all over the world and we would be able to see exactly what was going on in this area but they have Taking the data away. Once again, I'll show you. Here's May 20th, which is in about two hours for the East Coast. But look, I backtrack. It goes right to the 18th. So the entire day of the 19th is missing. So we can't see what was going on in this area. Take that for what it's worth. If anyone can find the radar chart for May 19th of this part of the world, I would love to see it. Thank you all. Bye -bye. All right. So, yeah, as you can see, things about the... May the Lord speed this up, man. You know? And it's, this, is, this, is, this is for us. I'm going to read this here, you know? We gonna get on. A lot of things are happening in the world. A lot of things. You know, everybody got their office right now. This is um First Corinthians seven and uh twenty nine. But this I say, brethren, and this goes for the 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 Aquaf as well. The time is short. We don't know how close we are. So all this little happiness, you see these people walking the streets, right? All this little happiness that they think they have. They not worrying about this. You know? They going around with their Babylonian lives. They don't know if time is short. You tell them time is short. What do you mean time is short? You know, it's such and such a clock, you know? I got all the time in the world, right? They about to freak out, man. They about to, and the American government is going to leave these Babylonians to die horribly. Horribly, man. But for us, that's in the know. We on the watch. You know, we praying, we fasting, we getting close, we kissing the sun. Because we know we're gonna need divine protection. Cause the time is short. The time of what? All hell breaking loose, man. And it's gonna break loose. And they showing these Babylonians through movies and everything, and they just 
going about their day. You know, they got the spirit of deep sleep on them. Oh, well. But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives, you may have a family. You know, this ain't time to be family guy. You know, I got a family. I got a wife. Been with 25 years, I think now. You know, four kids. A dog. <laughs> you know. You know. The whole, what they would call the whole Babylonian setup, you know. Is this the time to be into your family like that? No. Do what you got to do. To let them know your presence is there. But we on, we got marching orders right now. We soldiers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, we've been called to duty. So when you're called to duty, you focus on the mission at hand. Look at Mission Impossible, man. When he got that message, you focus on the mission at hand. The mission is Operation Get Out of Babylon before this thing blow. And the only way out is through Yahweh Shah. So it says, But this I say, brethren, the time is short. It remaineth that both they that have wives be as though they had none. It's time to put off the mortal nature. And they that weep as though they weep not. You suffering, you know, family members dying, you know. Things are happening. Go do your weeping, but you clear it up. Some serious trouble is on its way. And they that rejoice as they that rejoice not. You might got a promotion at your job, you know, some insurance money. Something came through to make you happy. That's part of this world. You got to act like you ain't even got it. It's in your pocket, but you ain't even got it because you're focused. This is what this Paul getting into right now. The focus. Pilgrims, man. A pilgrim don't have a place to stay. And this is not our home. We're citizens of the kingdom of heaven. Those that understand. So we ain't got time to be rejoicing or even weeping too much about your afflictions here. We trying to get back home. So it says, as they, uh, and th they that rejoice as though they rejoice not. And they that buy as though they possess not. And they that use this world. So we gonna use this world, we getting over. But our eyes is focused on the mark, on the, the, the meaning, the target so we scopeo in you know the day of our lord's return we scopeo in that there's nothing more important than what we understand that yahweh Shah is about to make his final coming and take back planet earth there's nothing bigger nothing you understand nothing not your family your back pain your legs your sex drive, nothing. Your job, your food, nothing is more important than what's about to happen. So our eye shall be single at this time, man. So it says, and they that use this world, we just using this world. I'm getting off the plantation now. We're using this world as not abusing it. So you don't overdo it because this thing is happening. Don't get caught with your pants now. For the fashion of this world passes away. So something is fishy about that helicopter going down. You know, they removed the whole day of weather. You know, this is going to get back to the uh, the big boys. They got big boys on this. So we're going to see. Well, like I said, we're keeping our eyes focused on this. Uh, it, trust me, it's a lot happening man a lot so you we deal with whatever yahweh bashim yahweh shot put on your plate you deal with but it's just so much you can't keep up with everything but you bless the lord for the spirit that you got to even watch man and be able to filter that through the scriptures and understand where you stand at in history right now because this is a very important time to be alive and you got to understand why you alive why you were brought into this truth What's going on? Why I'm even teaching? Why I'm even watching? You must understand that. And only the Holy Spirit can show you that. This ain't about showing off, man. This is serious, serious business. Giving all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakaha Kodash, 
Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who told me this truth. Shalom, Labakarium, Shah Yasha Allah. That's peace to the hopeful elect of the nation of Israel. Shalom.